If you've been on our YouTube channel, you'll know that Standard Time, which you see in the background here, is a nice time and materials tracker, project manager for shop floor manufacturing, uh, inventory control, those sorts of things. I'm going to demonstrate a completely different feature, which is tool control. So if you have specialized tools on the shop floor that you would like to keep track of, you need a tool tracker. Uh, that's what we're going to take a look at. There are barcodes that you can use to scan a tool out and assign that to an operator and then scan back in to bring the tool back into stock. So now you have some tool accountability. Uh, operators scan them out, scan them back in. Managers know who scanned them out, uh, when they were scanned out, where they are, and then when the tool returns, then it's placed back into stock. So, in addition to the time and materials, project management, inventory, those sorts of things, we're gonna take a look at the tool control features in Standard Time. So here in Standard Time, we're gonna to wanna to check some tools in and out. So let's go ahead and press F4 to open the barcode window. Of course, you know this is where you would scan time and expenses for your project tasks and so on, work orders. But in this case, for this video, we're just going to work with tools and tool controls. So let's go ahead and scan a couple of tools just to see their status. All right, uh, this tool is in stock and available, and that one also available. So let's go ahead and check these out. I'm gonna start by scanning a username and then again, I'll just scan a tool. It is in stock, so let's go ahead and check that tool out. That is now checked out by Buzz. And then the second tool is also checked out. So these tools are now in my care. I'm expected to bring them back in uh, somewhat the same shape that I got them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the admin side of this, see what an administrator would see for these tools. I'm gonna go up to the tools menu and choose tool control. Now you see a lot of other items in this tools menu like projects, clients, users, categories, inventory, a lot of other kind of expenses and meetings and things like that. So there's a lot more you can do here, but let's just take a look at tool control. So this tool that I just checked out has a name, a code, description. It has a model number, serial number. There's a location for it. The number of items I have on hand, the cost that I have for that. And this tool is now checked out by Buzz. It has some actual hours that go along with when I check in and out. So we've got a nice little history of when this tool was checked in and out and by whom. And uh, down at the bottom, as I scroll down, you've got preventative maintenance. So so I want to do a PM every 480 hours. The last one was done by Frank. So you have the next preventative maintenance and the last one and then some notes that you would perform. Just scrolling back up here, I can take a look at another one of these that I just checked out. Again, a name, a code that I could scan. I could also scan a serial number. But again, you've got this one checked out by Buzz, got some actual hours there and then a little history of when this was checked in and out. So that's what the admin would see. All the tools listed here, the locations, the actual hours, who checked them in and out and then a nice little history so enter all your tools and then start checking them in and out so let's go back over here press F4 again we can see that this was checked out by buzz I'm gonna scan my username and then just check this back in it's now in stock and available and this one is also now checked in and available. So I've brought the tools back, put them back in the tool bin, and they are now available for checkout. So again, back up to tools, tool control, and this is where you can administer all your tools. So nice little check in and out feature in standard time that goes along with your time and expenses for your project tracking.